Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is the reverse effect of all state discovery on magnetic effect of current a justify how is faraday's law reverse effect of all state discovery so we have faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and all state discovery and we want to justify faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is reverse effect of all state discovery so let us discuss this and justify it okay or state discovered okay discovered that when electric current is passed through the conductor okay it produces it produces magnetic field so we have this okay current carrying conductor produces magnetic field so this is the discovery of or state okay so i'm writing the first evidence okay evidence of the relation sip between magnetism with moving charge okay with moving charge was discovered by orested in 1820 so we have this okay orested discovery lead to the relation between magnetism and moving charge that is current okay so we have this and faraday's in 1830 okay we can see 10 years later orested discovery okay in 1830 carried experiment okay experiment that demonstrated magnetically magnetically induced emf okay so magnetically induced emf with no source of emf it mean that in the absence of any source let's say battery okay we are getting induced emf okay due to change in magnetic field or magnetic flux so this was demonstrated by faraday in 1830 okay so with no source of emf in the circuit in the circuit okay circuit or coil when when magnet when magnet is moved towards or away okay from the coil clear
So we find this. So let us understand in this way. So we have a coil. So I'm taking a coil. Okay. And the coil is connected to galvanometer in order to detect current. Okay. Or in order to make sure that current is flowing in the coil okay so we are using galvanometer so when magnet is moved towards or is moved away okay keeping coil at rest okay then we find induced current or induced emf is produced in this coil here we have this and we can keep this magnet rest and move coil towards or away from the magnet so we again get induced emf or induced current in the coil so there must be relative motion between the magnet and the coil in order to produce induced emf or induced current in the coil so we have this okay clear so what do you find in this case when magnet is moved towards or away from the coil the galvanometer okay the galvanometer the galvanometer so or shows deflection okay deflection this indicate this indicate current okay flowing in the coil current flowing in the coil due to motion of magnet due to motion of magnet so we have this and what we find no current okay flows no current flows when the magnet is kept stationary okay so we can see coil is at rest so I'm writing also coil at rest to make it more clear. Okay. So we have this. Now keeping okay. Keeping magnet stationary. Keeping magnet stationary when the coil is moved towards or away or away from the magnet magnet then current flows in then current flows in the coil so the current flowing in the coil is called induced current okay so i'm writing over here the current flowing in the coil is called induced current okay it is called induced current and emf okay and emf required to cause okay required to cause this current cause this current is called induced emf so we have this okay so fad is laws of electromagnetic induction Okay. 
in case of fad is loss so let me write uh, in next okay phase fad is law of electromagnetic induction okay so in fad is law of electromagnetic induction what we find changing magnetic field changing magnetic field or flux okay induces induces electric current induces electric current so we have this and in Orested discovery okay what we find is that also discovery we find that electric current produces magnetic field so here we find electric current so i'm writing electric current produces magnetic field so when we compare this okay and faraday's law of electromagnetic induction magnetic field that is changing magnetic field produces electric current whereas in all state discovery we find electric current produces magnetic field therefore we can conclude okay that faraday's law of electro magnetic induction okay is reverse okay it is reverse effect of or state discovery so we have this clear we have this now question b okay write the method or methods for detection of direction of magnetic fields in these two condition okay so b so we have this methods for detection okay detection of direction of magnetic field magnetic field in or state in all state discovery and Faraday's law of electro magnetic induction so we want to discuss this okay we want to discuss this Now, for all state discovery, okay, the direction of magnetic field, the direction of magnetic field is given by is given by ampere swimming rule okay ampere's swimming rule ampere swimming rule so let's understand what is ampere swimming rule okay so for that 
let us understand or state discovery also in brief okay let's say we have a current carrying conductor ab okay we have conductor ab carrying current from a to b so we can make a circuit okay like this and key is closed so we have current i flowing in this direction okay that is from a to b so we have this and a magnetic needle okay a magnetic needle is placed below the current carrying conductor so we have this and i'm drawing east to west north south okay so we have this let us tell this is south this is north and this is west this is east so we have current flowing from south to north so current is flowing in this direction okay it is flowing from south to north so we have this clear now what we find in this case is that the needle magnetic needle shows deflection indicating that current carrying conductor produces magnetic field okay which is the or state discovery clear or state discovered that current carrying conductor produces magnetic field clear now what do you find in this case okay in this case so i am writing if current in the conductor in the conductor flows from south to north suppose we have this okay current flowing from south to north with conductor above the magnetic needle okay so we have this then north pole okay then north pole is or north pole of this magnetic needle north pole is deflected okay is deflected towards towards west so we find this we find this so north pole deflect towards west so we get this okay we find north pole let's say this is north and this is south then we find north pole deflecting towards west so we have this okay north pole deflecting towards west so we get this north pole deflecting towards west now when we reverse the direction of current let's say we have this okay we have conductor ab same conductor ab now current is flowing in this direction okay i current is flowing in this direction so we have this and this is north this is south this is west and this is east now we find current flowing okay we find current flowing from north to south okay we find this current flowing from north to south now we have a magnetic needle okay we have a magnetic needle we have a magnetic needle let's say this is north and this is south now what we find 
in this case is that okay the magnetic needle deflect towards east that is the north pole of the magnetic needle deflect towards east so we have this okay so we have this so we find this okay the north pole deflect towards east so we get this clear now let us summarize these two okay so we are going to summarize these two results with ampere swimming rule okay so ampere swimming rule is used for finding the direction of magnetic field produced due to current carrying conductor okay and we use ampere swimming rule okay in or state discovery so we have this clear we need to know this and we can understand this case okay with this concept also okay when current flows from south to north we can see current is flowing from south to north when current is flowing from south to north then the deflection is towards west so we find this okay deflection is towards west so south to north deflection is towards west so this is snow okay you need to understand this now let's understand ampere swimming rule so for this swimming rule so we have magnetic needle okay this is south this is north so we have this and let us consider a person okay is swimming so this is a person swimming clear with his face face always towards the needle okay and this is his left hand and this is his right hand okay so this is his right hand right hand so we have this so we have this okay so we have this and this is south this is north this is east and this is west so according to ampere swimming rule okay let us imagine a man okay or a person to swim okay to swim along the wire clear along the wire in the direction of current so he's swimming along the wire in the direction of current okay along the wire in the direction of current with his face always pointing towards the needle always towards 
the magnetic needle and the current okay current is entering so let me write in this way enters at his feet so current is entering from this side okay this is to be nodded current is entering okay so current is entering from this side so i'm writing in this way current is entering from his feet from feet or feet so i'm writing in this way and it is leaving from his head so current leaving from head okay entering at his feet and leaving or leave at his head then the north pole or end pole of the magnetic needle will be deflected towards his left hand so we have this okay towards his left hand so we find this okay the needle will deflect towards his left hand so we can see the needle deflecting or we can have this situation okay the needle deflect towards his left hand so we get this so we get this okay we get this so the needle is deflecting towards his left hand that is towards west so towards west so we find this deflection is towards west so this is called ampere swimming rule and next okay for faraday's law of electro magnetic induction so the direction okay we want to find the direction in faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so this faraday's law of electromagnetic induction only gives the magnitude okay only gives the magnitude of induced emf okay so it only gives the magnitude of induced emf and the direction okay and the direction of induced emf induced emf and hence induced current is given by is given by lane's law okay? it is given by lane's law so we have this now what is lane's law let us understand what is Lane's law. Direction of induced EMF or induced current is such that, okay, this is the statement of Lane's law, is such that it opposes the cause okay and what is the cause the cause is change in 
मैग्नेटिक फील्ड और फ्लक्स ओके विच प्रोड्यूस इट सो दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ लेंज लॉ सो वी हैव दिस ओके Now, give some practical application of Faraday's law and Oersted discovery. Okay, so see application. Okay, application one for Faraday's. law of electromagnetic induction application is ac generator to for or state discovery okay the application are electro magnets 